Hi guys, welcome to Empower and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, we're going to go over the nursing skill, how to give a sub Q injection. These videos really are to help decrease anxiety, to help you familiarize yourself with some of the materials that need to be used. They are not absolutes though. You do need to check the policy and procedure manual at your facility, or if you're in nursing school, you need to make sure you're doing it exactly how your nursing program is expecting you to do it. So I really hope this video helps sort of decrease the anxiety that comes with these nursing skills, especially the nursing school checkoffs, and helps you understand some of the terminology, and again, potentially helps you just get over the fear of doing the skill altogether. I also have something exciting for you guys. Iguana Med is going to be giving away a pair of scrubs to one lucky subscriber, so details on that in a bit. If you guys have not checked out Iguana Med scrubs, they're absolutely amazing. I love them. You can see here I have one of their tops on. They have really cute designs. They're actually a wrinkle-resistant material. I I literally got them out of the box, put them on, wore them for like about an hour. No wrinkles at all, which is amazing for me because my scrubs always have wrinkles. They have pockets galore. Every time you put your hands in these pockets, it's incredible. They have like scientific designs in their pockets, I swear. Like their pockets are really cool. I do have a discount code for 15% that I'm gonna put below, but also we are going to be giving away one pair of scrubs to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and you have to write a comment below. And in the comments, you know, I really want you to brag about yourself. That sounds kind of strange, especially Especially for nurses to brag about themselves but you know nursing really attracts a lot of selfless people we don't really give ourselves the credit that we deserve and we don't you know take the time to appreciate how amazing we are so I want you to take that time to type something absolutely amazing about yourself and even if you don't win the scrubs let me just tell you that this is going to help you in the future because when you are on a job interview they're gonna ask you Tell me about yourself. And you really need to have something prepared because that's a very hard, open-ended question. And if you already know a few things that are just absolutely amazing about yourself, it'll make it a lot easier. So this exercise is, is not all for naught. It's a great exercise to do, not just now, but in the future. So take the time to type something below and the winner will be announced next week, Friday. Thank you, Iguana Med, again, for these amazing scrubs and also for sharing a pair of scrubs with my subscribers as well as the discount code for you guys. They're really going out of their way, so definitely make sure you take advantage of that. If you want to see more giveaways, I would love to have them for you. Give this video a thumbs up just so I know that that's what you guys want to see. And all right, without any further ado, let's get into the video. First, you wanna select an appropriate injection site the sites include the fat pads on the abdomen, fat pads on the upper back, the lateral upper arms, the thighs, and here are the preferred injection sites for insulin, which are the arms, abdomen, thighs, and buttocks, and you should always rotate those. And the preferred injection site for heparin is a lower abdominal fat pad just below the umbilicus. The supplies you will need is the patient's medical chart. Obviously, if it's electronic, you can just check things like the allergies and just verify the order. You'll also need the prescribed medication. You'll need a 25 to 27 gauge needle that can be 1.3 to 5 eighths inch of length. It's basically one of the smallest needles you can find it's the one that you will see in either an insulin syringe or tuberculin syringe. You will also need a 1 to 3 ml syringe, antiseptic pads, whether your facility uses alcohol swabs or chlorhexidine, either one is fine, whichever one your facility recommends. You will also need gauze, gloves, and if you're going to be using a glass vial, you will need a filter needle. The first thing you want to do is pull back to drop the appropriate amount of air that you need. and then inject the air into the vial. Because these are vacuum packed, it will help the medication come out much easier. Then clean your selected site, allow it to air dry. Okay. 
and then pinch up with your fingers and then inject the medication and pull right out. You can go from an angle and when you select your site, just go right in, inject the medication and come back out. And then you want to activate the needle safety by pushing up on the syringe. Obviously, your syringes might be a little bit different. By the way, I want to give a huge shout out to the Idaho Nursing Student Association for inviting me to their convention. I had such an amazing time getting to know everybody and it was a wonderful event for everyone that showed up. Again, thank you so much for inviting me. It was such a pleasure to be there. I shared a brand new and exciting speech, which was cultivating the genius study state. I basically share all of the tips on how I went from a very average student, pretty much below average student, to getting honors, and it was such an amazing time. So thank you again for having me. The future of nursing is in the best hands ever because these nurses and nursing students are awesome. Alright guys, I love you very much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!